Hello and welcome. Welcome in for another edition of What's New Wednesday. Bill Sklodowski here with uh, the latest and greatest iPhone tips and tricks. iPhone iPad, we should say, works with both. And appreciate you being here with us today, whether you're watching live as it happens here on Facebook or on the blog over at BillSklodowski.com or on the YouTube channel as well. Um, got some new guests today. Look, he's he's back there, isn't he? He's back there keeping an eye. I could feel his eyes <laughs> on my friend Wiley Coyote is watching us today. So today, uh, we've talked about the long press thing before, but I wanted to bring you up to speed with some new stuff that's come out lately and uh, how Apple is integrating long press and other app makers as well are integrating long press into what you can do with their app on your phone. Let's rewind a little bit. Uh, and let's jump over to the phone, shall we? Let's uh, hide this and head over to the phone. So as you remember, if you do remember from a previous video, that when you long press on an app, and you know, app, any of the little buttons or icons or whatever you choose to call them there on your phone, on any screen, uh, something's going to happen. It's going to pop up some menu of, of some sort. And in the past, we have talked about the ability to rearrange the screen uh, using long press, let's just try any one, if I long press on the messages button there, that every one of those is going to have the button that says edit home screen on it. So even the clock, if I lean on it, edit home screen. See that? Even if I go to my contacts, edit home screen down there. So they're all available with edit home screen. And what that means is you tap on that and they start to jiggle and all that. The, Jog your memory a little bit, and then you can move things around. Well, today I wanted to kind of jump off on that a little bit and talk about what other apps can give you with that long press. Because as more and more apps take that into account, there's more and more things you can do uh, just by simply long pressing on an app without having to open the app and actually dig into it to get going with it. So. With that in mind, remember, as we said, long press is simply, literally, just laying your finger on an app on the phone for two to three seconds, and then it's going to open that menu. And like we said with the clock there, if I just lay my finger on it, it opens things up, okay? So it has also what's called that little haptic feedback, which means it just makes a little kind of a tick. It, you can feel it on your finger. It, it makes a little, uh, um, I don't know, there's something in the phone that makes it jiggle just a tiny bit. Anyway, that's long press. So I wanted to mention some of the things that you can do with long press with some of the apps that are on the phone. And you already saw the first one that I started with, for example, the clock. And if I tap on it, now I can do some things like, oh, create an alarm, start a stopwatch, start a timer, etc. right? So the thing about this is, is that the app is going to show you things that it can do specifically, right? So this is more, um, more than a simple like how-to. This is kind of a method. This is kind of a you know recipe. Take it and run with it and do your own thing with it. But just know that virtually every app has that ability to give you some shortcuts to things. So we just did the phone. The camera. I'll lean on the camera just a little bit. There you go. Take a selfie. Record a video. Take a portrait. Do a slow motion video, etc. Um, messages, we already tried that one. I can, you know, send a new message to my girlfriend or the computer guy who happens to be me, right? Uh, settings, there's also, you can do some things like turn on and off Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or cell data or check the battery. Uh, maps, there's, you can mark your location, uh, send your location. Now, I really do like, by the way, the send my location. I think we did that in one of our previous videos, but I'm not sure. If you are um, say you're doing the farmer's market or something like that, and you're meeting up with somebody and, you know, you're coming from different angles or you're parking in different parking lots and you want to let somebody know where you're at, I can use that send my location and it will send a text message to whoever I choose to send a text message to. And it will also include the map of where I'm at. That's another story for another day. Uh, notes, for example, I lean on notes. I can make a brand new note. I can do a checklist, a photo, scan a document, 
Now let's just keep going here. I've got YouTube, for example. I can, you know, check on my subscriptions, make a new video, search videos, all that sort of thing. Uh, even in apps that aren't technically an iPhone app, I mean, you've downloaded them, right? Like uh, the Facebook Messenger. Well, you can, oh, that one doesn't have anything. Look at that. I'm, I'm kind of surprised Facebook Messenger doesn't have that. All right, other things in here. Oh, I've got so much stuff, you know. So what I want you to learn, <laughs> and what, oh, by the way, down at the bottom with the phone, phone, you want to call somebody, there's all the phone calls you can make. Check your voicemails, check your contacts, search for people, et cetera. All right, I've got a calendar app where I can schedule things, et cetera. Now, that's not the standard iPhone calendar app that I have down there, but another story for another day. The point of all of this today is this, just try it. You know, with all the apps that you've got on your phone, as you download things, as you move stuff around to make your phone work better for you by putting the most used things that you have right there on the home screen, just try the finger thing. <laughs> the finger thing, this finger, come on where you lay your finger on an app and see what happens, and maybe it just gives you something useful and you go, oh, I didn't know I could do that. I find it especially useful with things like the phone, uh, text messages, and the camera. You know, if I need to take a quick picture of something, I can just tap on the camera and take a picture or a video or a portrait or something like that. So uh, that's, there you go. Today's lesson is just try it. You're not going to break anything. You're not going to mess anything up. In fact, I always, when I teach my classes, I tell folks that. I, uh, uh, my first class, my first 10 minutes of the day is letting people know that unless you really just drop it in the pool or take a hammer to it or, you know, run over it in the parking lot, um, you can't break it. So try stuff. Just try tapping on things and see what happens. That's the lesson for today. All right. If you have found this helpful, I would uh, invite you to stop over to the blog and let me uh, jump over to that one there. Just jump over to the blog. It's going to look just like this, BillSkladowski.com. And you can sign yourself up for our newsletter. Just click on that button that says click me right there next to the picture. And what that will do is get you the weekly recap newsletter. And here's what that will get you. Every Sunday, depending on, sometimes it's Saturday, mostly it's Sunday though, sign up. <laughs> you will get the weekend recap newsletter. It will let you know what videos were on the previous Wednesday and the previous Friday. And when we have a free handout, which we have every week for the iPhone Friday class, you'll get a free copy of that as well. It's all free. All it takes is an email. Just jump over to the uh, blog post name down there. I got to figure out which way to point the <laughs> blog at billsklodowski.com and sign yourself up all for free. All right. That's going to do it for today. If you have questions or comments, be sure to uh, list them below here uh, with the video, whether you're watching it uh, live on Facebook or on YouTube or on the blog at Bill Sklodowski. Uh, just feel free to leave the comments. I read and respond to all of them. And maybe if it's a good question, then we'll use it for our next either What's New Wednesday or iPhone Friday video. Until Friday, when we do our iPhone Friday video, uh, have yourself a great couple of days. We'll see you on Friday. Thanks again. Bye-bye.